All right, Jeff Grubb here. Games beat. I'm gonna look into Super Mario Maker, cool new level. Uh, someone was able to make a computer inside of this game. Uh, we've seen people do this before with things like Minecraft, uh, a few other things, uh, Dwarf Fortress. Uh, this is the first time I think I've seen it in Super Mario Maker. Uh, essentially, they just kind of built a, a small calculator. Here it is, run a tiny computer, comments on by user trousers. So basically, let me turn the comments on to kind of help explain this whole thing. Um, basically, the, the, the level's broken up into two sections. One teaches you about the computer, the other one lets you actually go through it and do some a really simple calculation. So let's go through this first one first. Uh, it kind of shows that these are different, like, little bits, I guess. And the way that the bomb, bob bombs go into the area, and whether or not they do go into the area or not, uh, determines, like, how the calculation will work. So if, uh, like, for these first, that first section, if a bomb, if a bob bomb enters, he'll exit. And this second one, if, a, if like, two bob bombs are in there, they'll both exit. It's, it's kind of a, it's technical, and and, you know, just kind of almost basic computing, like back to the point of uh, when we were using uh, mechanical computers. You can see this is an OR gate. So if at least one bob one bomb -bom enters, one bob -bom leaves. And you can see how just that one left. Here's another one, an AND gate. Uh, one bob -bom leaves only if two bob -bom is entered. So two are in there, and we're going to see that only one is going to leave. Here's the last one. Uh, only if uh, one bob bomb enters will one leave. If zero or two enter, uh, none will leave. Uh, and finally, a swap gate. Basically, though, with all of these li little modules, uh, if you put them uh, kind of together in a certain order, you can do basic calculations. And we'll jump ahead here in a second to the actual calculator part and see how that works. So here we are, uh, we're going to enter the second door, and this is the actual calculator itself. So basically there's a, a you pick a 0 or 1 at the top number A, and 0 or 1 at the bottom number B. For A, we'll do 1, and for B we'll do 1, so we're going to do 1 plus 1. And now both are in place, and I just need to go and hit the P block to get the calculation started. And now they are entering into the calculator. Or the computer. I jump ahead to the next section and activate the next part. And you can see now there's like basically this is just like working like a, a standard computer works at this point, uh, where you put the information in and that information goes through a series of, of gates. And depending on what happens inside those gates, by which is also determined by what you put into there, you'll get an outcome. So now all those gates have worked, and we will now get the answer to what is 1 plus 1. And if, it, if that bomb bomb was in that top bucket up there, it would be 0. Or it would be 1. If it, Now it's in the bottom one, it's 2. You can see where it explains that right there. If there was no bomb bombs, the answer would be 0. So yes, 1 plus 1, A plus B, is uh, 2. So that bomb was in the bottom there. It's pretty cool. Uh, it's kind of amazing to see people build these kinds of things in something like Super Mario Maker, which seems pretty simple uh, and kind of basic, but in some, like uh, a game where you wouldn't be able to do something like this, but you can, obviously. All right, thanks for watching. Uh, again, Jeff Grubb Games Beat. We'll catch you next time. Bye.